So in this video, I'm going to cover the gaze component that's inside the GDXR VR template. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you where it is. So the component itself is located in blueprints folder and then components. And you'll find a gaze interaction folder. In here, we have the component and this drives the whole functionality for the... And in here, we'll have the gaze interaction. So this component drives all the functionality for the interacting with stuff. So you can interact with 3D assets and UMG with this. And if we open it up, you'll see that it's pretty heavy in some places. And it's one of the few components that does run on tick. But if you disable certain features, it won't update as regularly. It's I've tried to improve the performance as much as possible. And if you disable use gaze component, it'll actually disable the tick. So you don't have to delete it from the player itself. All you can do. So if we go to the player VR character, you'll see that the gaze component is actually a child of the camera. And this needs to be here. So with this all done, you'll see that we've got some more settings on the right. Don't really need to worry about some of these. I need to remove some. <coughs> but overall, the component itself is, dr is driven by the character variables. So in here, we've got a use gaze component or a gaze, con a gaze interaction heading. And under this is all our settings for the gaze component. So use gaze component does exactly what it says. If we set it to true, it's now using that gaze component. It's turned it on. So it activates the tick and then it starts running in the background. The options that we have here are use gaze interaction with UMG exactly as it sounds. So you can enable or disable the option to have the gaze interaction you work with UMGs. But in this case, I have it set to false because I have UMG interaction set up on my controllers. But if you don't do that, or if you remove those, you can then set this up so you can look at your UMG and interact with it. So we'll set this to true. Um, currently display gaze interaction. So this is one of the more complex features in the gaze interaction component itself. Um, so what this does is if you set it to true, it will always appear on the screen. So if we set the, if we actually set this to true and then we jump in and I cover my lens, you'll see that we've got our dot. That is where we're looking. And if I walk around, you can see that we can interact with things in the world. So this is a cube that has a, a blueprint interface attached to it, which I'll go over. And then we have our UMG, which we can disable the gaze interaction here. And then you'll see that it doesn't actually allow us to interact with it. So what we can do is we can go through and we can change most of the sense here. So the gaze the icon distance from camera, exactly where it is, how far that icon is. Further is often better. It's a little bit easier to read. Gaze icon distance from camera. Gaze interaction Z offset, how far up or down that point is on the camera. And then gaze interaction time length. This is set up as an enum, so you can easily select this. And what it does is it also allows the menu that I've put in here to control it and allow you to switch between those settings a little bit easier. So for the gaze interaction, let's have a look at the permanently off. So set gaze interaction back on. Permanently display gaze interaction. I'm going to set this to false. So the idea is that we've got a gaze interaction, but we only need it in certain circumstances. So what I've done is I've set up a custom function. So in this case, when I stand on this pad, you'll see our interaction appears. And then I can interact with things in the world. Whereas if I turn off or come off it, I can't actually interact with anything anymore. And it allows us to work with UMG as well. So do that, although we can look away and come back and then can do as well. So we can kind of go away and actually use this to control the interactions as we go through it. So I prefer if I was to use this, I'd prefer to use it with um, permanently display gaze interaction turned off. And then I would use the custom function. So inside of these blueprints, we have a collision. So we've got an overlap collision, which is a capsule. And then we call display gaze interaction function and set it to true. And then on end, we set this to false. And that's literally it. So if you right click and we scroll down to the GDXR category, you can see here we've got display gaze interaction. 
And that's all you need to do is call that. And then as long as gaze interaction is set up to be on and permanently display gaze interaction is off, then we're good to go. If you do keep this on and you forget or you start using these, it will tell you that you don't actually need them. So if we go over to our pad and then we stand on it now, you'll see that we get an error message at the top. It's not really an error. It's more of a notification for you guys to help you remind you that you don't need these. If you're using permanently on, there's no requirement for these to be included. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, all the settings are available through here and it's a case of just pretty much have a play around and turn on and off what it is you're using. So hopefully that helps you get a start and then go from there. Yeah, I'd love to see how you're all using it and go from there. Maybe some other features that you'd like to see with this. So as you can see, it's pretty intense. But yeah, always up for upgrading and adding more. Big shout out to Patreon for making this possible and allowing me to put in all the work for this. But yeah, if you want access to the template, head over to Patreon. There's a new version available now, which has just gone up with all of this stuff in it. So yeah, try it out and let me know what you think.